good morning welcome back to the trailer we are getting back to work this morning i haven't brought my tripod out here yet so I'm setting you on my cup we're gonna just bend down here okay um we are going to be doing a lot of painting today so i'm just looking around at everything that needs to be primed basically every single surface in here walls and cabinets need to be primed so i'm hoping to get quite a bit done today it is 9 50 right now and um, i'm gonna just go get everything prepped i've had the space heater on out here it was kind of chilly this morning so i just turned the space heater on to get it a little bit warmer it's gonna be like 60 today so i can turn it off here shortly but i just wanted to get it a little warmer in here for primer and paint because when it's cold it doesn't dry as quickly and all that so you can hear the space heater running um if you have not seen the last three videos of us working on trailer makeover stuff watch those first so you know everything that we've done so far um but yeah today's just gonna be a big primer day like this main living area, I'm just going to try to prime everything that needs to be primed, including cabinets. So we will see how far we go before I have to start getting kids from school and then we have double baseball practices tonight and all that. So let's get to work. So I am going to prime this ceiling right here. The other ceilings are already white, so I'm not gonna be painting those. But in the slide right here, it's like the same as the walls. And I didn't even think about that the other night when I primed this whole slide out. So, um, update on our neighbor's house. They're over there working on stuff, clean up stuff. Our neighbor's house burned down back in February. Um, not completely to the ground, but the whole entire inside. So they're over there starting to work on stuff today, but I'm um, gonna prime this ceiling. And then I need to make a decision about these cabinets right here. Do I leave them or do I paint them? I need to turn the lights on in here. Okay. Oh. There we go. Do I leave these cabinets or do I paint them green? I might just leave those for now. We're going to leave those for now because those are in good shape. Like they're not tore up at all. So I think we'll leave those for now. Um, but the walls here, um, you know, all of that around the built-in or around the fireplace and upper cabinets, lower fireplace, island, walls. In the kitchen, I'm gonna do a peel and stick tile over there. So I don't think I need to prime that, but prime that around the fridge, that little shelf cubby. All of this needs to be primed and then like the whole entryway. So <laughs> let's just see how much we can get done. So in the last video I was telling you guys that I taped off all the windows and then I taped off a, a whole bunch more stuff uh, for painting and I regret doing that because when I pulled the tape off after I was done painting it peeled a ton of paint off and I had to go back through and repaint like around everywhere that I took the tape off basically. I never tape anything off when I paint and for whatever reason I did it this time. And <laughs> It just added a whole lot of extra work for me. So if you haven't seen those last few videos of everything that we've done on the trailer so far, definitely check those out. Um, it's fun to see 
the whole process from tearing out the original furniture here and cleaning and painting and all of that stuff but it is coming right along so i'm gonna get to work on priming this ceiling now So crazy to me the difference that just a coat of primer is making on the entryway here because I feel like the walls really aren't that dark it's kind of like a beige ish like a light beige but when you put white paint on RV walls it just makes the space feel and look so much bigger so much brighter and I just had no idea what a huge difference it was gonna make to paint the walls and I'm actually so glad that there was a bunch of stuff that needed to be fixed. So that way we kind of had an excuse just to do it all, like all or nothing, do a full renovation just because there was like a whole bunch of stuff we had to fix, you know? So it's kind of a, kind of a blessing in disguise. Obviously a lot of work that we weren't expecting or like, you know, wanting to do to prep to travel. But at the same time, like we're making it super homey, making it completely custom and like hours and I don't know just while I was painting um, the primer on these walls I was just so blown away at what a difference it makes in such a good way and it's just gonna look so much better in here
All right, it is looking so much brighter in here um, after all this primer. So, got the ceiling primed here like you guys saw. Primed the whole entryway. Primed this whole wall here in the kitchen and that little cubby. Oh, I need to get the sides over here. Um, and then I did this wall and all behind the TV and like the little ceiling right here. So I take a little lunch break. I'm actually just gonna go in and make a shake um, while that dries. And then, so I did two coats of primer in here. I'm just wondering if I need to do two coats of primer out here because I got paint and primer in one paint. I don't know. I probably will just like do a second coat of primer on all of this as well. So I'm going to go, <laughs> I'm just, I'm thinking out loud here. Um, I'm going to go make my shake, come back out here. Let me show you guys a little update on our neighbor's house. It's, um, almost gone. So the garage was not affected. So I don't know if they're, I don't think they're tearing the garage down. Um, you can see the garage right here. I think they're just doing like the, the living area because it's a detached garage. There's just like a little like lean to that connected them like a little roof, but it's like a freestanding garage. So they're just tearing down the house. So crazy. So there's a little update on that. Um, I'm gonna go grab my lunch and then we'll be back out here to start priming again and then I'll start painting hopefully today too. All right, so made me a protein shake and got me a little Diet Coke. Um, and I'm gonna start the second coat of primer in the entryway and just work my way around like in the same um, order that I went because it's all drying over here still but oh I guess I gotta do I gotta do this and then the entryway all right let's go
two coats of primer on the side, on the ceiling, on this whole wall, on the back part of that. I'm wondering if I should do this part, this wall here, if I should do that white since this wall is white. Because that's like the frame around. But then do like the front of the fridge green. Yeah, I think I need to do a primer right here. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do that real quick. Um, and then I got the second coat on all of that over there too. So my mom is actually picking all of the kids up from school. So that way I can just continue working on this. So I'll be working on this until we have to go to baseball later. So... I'm gonna do um, this primer right here on that inside wall because I didn't even think about that. I'm gonna do that. And then I'm gonna start painting, which is also white, but making progress. I'm gonna run my sanding block over that real quick. You don't have to sand the walls, but cabinets, this is like that paneling. So I'm gonna just rough it up a little bit before I start painting. All right, we are ready for paint. I went ahead and just primed that wall, like a super quick prime. I'm not gonna do like two coats or anything like that, but I am doing peel and stick tile back there. So I think I might try to peel this little sticker, tile sticker off here and just do a little primer back there as well. I did not have to open my second can of primer yet I've just been like there's just like the tiniest little bit left in here um peel and stick tile is on the way though so that'll be like all of that will be subway tile um and then I am gonna order today drawer pulls they'll be black this will all be green um so yeah Everything that needs to be primed, like all the walls are primed in this main living area and entry area. I'll work on the island once all the walls are done, like the island and the bottom of the fireplace. I'll work on all that once the walls are all done, but it's looking so much brighter in here. So much brighter. So the paint color, I don't think it says it on here, but I got the Bare Paint and Primer in one, uh, the Premium Plus. I got Satin. Oh, it does say it right here. It's called Polar Bear. It's one of the like popular white colors from Home Depot right now. So there's our paint. I got a new paint pan out. I've got a brush here. And I have some more rollers I liked using this size versus a big one just because most of the surfaces well I guess I don't know I might use both because this is a lot of surface to cover with a little brush but I also have the big ones these are my favorite brushes uh, the professional purple ones smooth to semi smooth is what we're using today
tired. I got the first coat of white paint on all the walls. I didn't film doing all the white paint because you guys just really couldn't tell because the primer. Um, but first coat of white paint is on and I have to run and do baseball and all that. So I will be back later tonight to work on the second coat of paint. Making progress. All right, I took my vlog camera in the house, but I just finished doing the second coat of white on all of these walls out here. Mom, what? Look at my outfit. Oh, you got your uniform? Yay! So I am gonna call it a night. Um, tomorrow I am going to prime the island and the fireplace and like the lower cabinets in the kitchen. I am going to end this vlog and I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying this series. Um, lots more to go. So I'm going to go in and shower. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.